Oh, hey, welcome to Axie Expert. I'm your expert, Don Donalski, with IWIE.com. Going to answer a heat and cooling question uh, because people keep sending them. And I guess, you know, that's a pretty good reason. So, okay, today's question is, hey, Dan. Hey, from Freddy. Hey, Freddy. I'm thinking about getting a Mr. Cool DIY. How do you know what size you should get for your house? Oh, okay, Freddy, that's a good question. Now, whether you're gonna get a Mr. Cool DIY or any other kind of HVAC unit, you gotta make sure you get the right size, okay? The only way you really are gonna know is uh, if you get a manual J heat load calculation performed on your house. And there's probably firms in your town that can do it. You have them come out, you have them say, hey, what does it need? And they'll do some measurements and stuff. Now, uh, if you don't want to do that, if you're like, hey, Dan, I'm really cheap and I don't want to pay for an engineer to come out to my house, I say, okay, Winston, I understand. There's some calculators you can find online that, that'll get pretty close. You can also really just go and look, uh, if you're like replacing a central air unit, you can just go see what you have now, right? And, and if you get the same thing, you're probably going to be pretty okay. Uh, now, the only way that's really going to change a lot is if you do some major renovations, um, so it can change then. But we do provide uh, most of our units, if you look in the specifications on our website on IWE.com, we do give you the general square footage that the units will probably handle in, you know, typical circumstances. So that's a good way, for, that's a good rule of thumb. Uh, and with units that are variable speed, newer units, then oversizing is not as much of an issue as it might have been with previous generations. So you got some you got some leeway there. So, okay, I hope that answers your question, Freddie. And uh, okay, bye. Oh, hey there. You have questions about size in an air conditioning unit? How many angels can fit on the head of a pin? What kind of tree I'm standing next to? then just ask in the comments below. And if you like Ask the Expert and you want to see more videos, then you can subscribe and you can rub the bell icon, which Glenn says is somewhere down here in the left quadrant. That's what he says. Glenn's a liar. And uh, you can also like it. And that would make me happy. If I got like one like, I would, I get a raise. That's not true. Okay, bye.